What's up guys, Kilo Whiskey back, and we're going to be doing the Black Forest quest line today. If you haven't unlocked Black Forest map yet, this video is for you. So we're going to be going through the entire series, the entire quest chain, from Fedor Salnikov, from Secret Base to Footprints in Black Forest. Now, before you embark on this journey, you're going to need two red toadstool mushrooms, two pieces of meat, ten copper wire, three pieces of moonshine, and at least 20 carbon pills. And I would uh, highly recommend having either an L1 suit or an OZK suit if you're a lower level player, a gas mask, and the detox VOF doesn't help, uh, well, doesn't hurt. Uh, same thing with the psycho motor and like a nerve stem if you can afford it. But we're going to be jumping right into it. It's uh, going to be kind of long, but that's just the nature of the beast. I'm going to try to just keep to the highlights and the, the major points where you turn in parts of these quests. I'll display some maps along the way as some of the easiest ways to go uh, to avoid some of the anomalies and uh, which ways to walk. But I uh, hope you enjoy the video, so let's get started. Oh yeah, and one thing I want to add before I forget is, so I do have a promo code now that I got from Stay Out for being uh, part of their new media partners program. It's just my name in all caps, Kilo Whiskey, one word. And what it does is it gives, if you're a new player and you just recently downloaded the game or you're thinking about getting into the game, uh, you can put this promo code in and you'll get a week of free premium. It helps me out a little bit if there's future purchases, but it, it, it doesn't really do much for me. Um, but uh, if you're thinking about trying the game out and you've never played it before, uh, the best way to do it is to start your character off with premium. You get two times XP and two times loot drop. So just something that, uh, you know, throwing it out there if you want to try to use it. Uh, if the account's older than I was told, like 14 days, it won't work. So it has to be your first time downloading a game and, and trying it out. But, I mean, if you're an older player and trying to make a, uh alt account or something like that, I mean, it might work for that. I don't know. But, yeah, so just throwing that out there, uh, you can get a week free premium by using the code. But, uh, yeah, so let's uh, hop into this video. So here at airport, we have to do a whole series of quest lines just to get to where we're at. Uh, and, and the key is getting a quest from Fedor Salnikov here called Secret Base is going to kickstart the whole quest line that we have to go down to unlocking the Black Forest. If we are not a level... 85 or have 3,000 rep with one of the factions for most people this is how you're gonna do it so secret base uh, from Fedor Sonikov and we have to go collect information on secret bases in the map of Tunguska and to get all right so short run from the airport to the plane let's go ahead and we're gonna buy ourselves a ticket uh, we're going to Tunguska. Make sure you don't make that mistake of going to New Land. It's a very expensive mistake. So now that we're in Tunguska, first we have to go to the village of Radius. And this is probably going to be your very first time ever coming to this map. And uh, as you see, there's no map pins. This is the first time I've ever been to this map on this particular character. But this is the uh, village of Radius over here. And we're gonna have to make it over here to Radius and we have to talk to an NPC that's gonna give us the next section of the quest. There are two ways to get there. One is going to the north. I'll put a map on the screen right now. It's gonna show these two pathways. The path in green is gonna be the easiest pathway to take where it's gonna go along the road through a clan weekly base and then head up to the village of Radius. And then the pathway in red is gonna be the harder pathway to go. You gotta go through a lot of the infrared uh, or IR anomalies. And that's the way you would go if you can't cut through the clan base, like uh, if you're in a clan and you have a tag or something like that. Uh, I would, if you are in a clan and you're trying to do this and you're not friendly with the people who own the Tunguska base, it's far easier to drop the tag and do this clanless than it is to try to go through that northern path. For shits and giggles, I did it just to see how difficult it would be to take the northern path. And, I mean, th this is coming from me. I felt like uh, not living anymore after doing this entire quest line by going that northern path instead of going the southern path. So, we're going to take the southern route. And 
I'm not going to skip ahead to Radius just yet since this is uh, new and this is going to be your first time coming through here. I want to show you some parts and a little trick up here with this canyon. When you come up to it, we're going to see this road and we got this uh, stepped hillside here. There's going to be dogs in this area. I have to turn down my environmental sound effects maybe. No, I just turned down my volume. But, uh, so we have these microwave anomalies, infrared, IR. Uh, generally going down the road is going to be a big pain. I would recommend bringing a L1 suit or an OZK suit. If you're a higher level player, you can make it through here without using all of this stuff. But this guy's only like a level 40. He doesn't have as many of the, uh, the perks and odds are you're also going to be a lower level if you're attempting this so having a suit you know let me just go ahead and throw the gas mask on too just to reduce burns uh what i've generally always found easier is hugging the hills so if we come up to the side of the hill here and make sure you throw rocks in front of you uh we're going to want to, so I threw a rock and you see this plume comes up. Avoid the dead center of the plume. Try to run to the outer edges of it. And make sure we throw rocks. We're going to have to run through a couple of these. But we want to make sure there's no artifacts in them. So we're trying to run to the edges of them. And we want to make sure we don't plow into an artifact. Because if you hit an artifact, it can kill you pretty quickly. But like you can see, that was very short and I'm already mostly out of the anomaly field. And so what I did was I came up here and hooked along this hill and then popped through right here. And there, it's a, a narrow passage and the anomalies tend to be a little bit thicker and more densely packed going to the north and then going to the south. There's a, a lot of big spiders that spawn here. This cliff uh, I didn't mention it before, but it's insurpassable. You cannot go over top this cliff. So that's why there's that northern path and southern path. And then from here on out, we're just going to hook through the clan base and then head up north. Uh, this is just um, a lot of walking. You're not really going to see anything here. So I'm just going to jump ahead to the village of Radius. All right, so here we are coming up to the village of Radius. Now, the, there is a warehouse in here, um, but we're just going to go straight to the quest part. So, come up here to the guide. Uh, let's see, I have a question about Tunguska. Where can I find him? And we see now we have completed the first part of Secret Base. So, he's going to give me the location of the next NPC we have to go to. So yeah, so we're going to have to go talk to, he's gave us the location of uh, Arkatsa, and he's going to be in Echo 6-4. Now at this point in time, we're going to want to have our two red toadstool mushrooms and two pieces of meat and at least 20 carbon pills with us. Um, we're going to run from Radius, and I will show you the route I usually take here. Uh, you can follow along this line and the reason I go this way is I intentionally don't grab the spawn point at the railway station at Foxtrot 5-4 because if we get this spawn point we're not going to be able to fast travel back uh, once we get to Arkatsa and we give him the mushrooms he's gonna give us the location of the two secret bases and they're gonna be in Gulf 7-4 the Sunrise or Sunset base down here, and the Tesla Tower in Delta 4-1. Uh, we're going to have to visit these locations, and uh, I, after that, I think we go and talk to... So, we'll keep our spawn point at Radius, go to Alakatsa, we'll uh, do what we have to do here, we hit the, the next base. Let's just get on the road, I'm not taking too much time talking. All right, so we've made the jump over here. We're now at our NPC here in Echo 6-4. And I, along the way, I picked up uh, Kill the Boar and I got the meat from him. 
So let's go ahead here and talk to him. Uh, I have, let's see. Okay, so. T high. Carbon pills, yes. Okay, so this is where you need here. Eat these pills, swallow. Uh, so where the carbon pills. He's always high. You have to give him the carbon pills. Uh, okay, so no, I need to give him the mushrooms. There we go. Secret base. Okay, deal. I'll get you the mushrooms, and we already have the mushrooms. Brought the mushrooms. And I think that's it. Uh, okay. So I've given him the mushrooms. I still got the meat. We're going to need the meat for the next part here. Let's check our quest line. So secret base, gathering information... Uh, and this is where we have to go to the Tesla Tower and to Sunset Base. So, let's do that. And then I believe we need the meat. We're going to come down here. We just have to walk in, up physically to the base. So, we're going to run from here over this mountain down the side, avoiding these spiders. Uh, you can see the spider cocoons right there on the map. Sometimes there's a red bear that spawns in here. It doesn't look like he's here right now. But let me just jump over this little hillside here. Alright, so here we are at the sunset base. And just by running up to this structure, there we go. Bunker is found. Quest complete. Uh, well, the first part of it, anyway. So now we're going to have to travel to the Tesla Tower. And once we discover this location and the quest updates, uh, let's see here. Let me just make sure before I do this. Uh, okay, yeah. So, I have two meat. I have two meat. What are you talking about? I got meat right here. I don't know. But, yeah. So, we're going to the Tesla Tower right now. So, now, what I've talked about before, where we didn't change our spawn location to Foxtrot 5, if you did change your spawn location to here, uh, after you can unalive yourself, you'll respawn back here. But since I have uh, not changed my spawn location, uh, I am going to go up here and have these spiders assist me in unaliving myself. And then I'm going to basically teleport or fast travel back to Radius because that's where my spawn point is. And that will help me out with the next part of doing this quest, um, discovering Tesla Tower. Once we have completed that, we'll, we'll go from there. But uh, let me... Uh, spiders, spiders, spiders. This is why you should avoid this area. Big spiders. All right, so now that we're back here at the Village of Radius, first thing I wanna... Where's my mouse cursor? Uh, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna buy a couple paramed kids off of this guy. This will probably be the first NPC you have access to where you can actually purchase paramedics. But we're gonna need our gas mask and a suit for this part. I mean, you don't need it if you're a higher level player, but like I said, odds are if you're on a, a lower alt count or this is your first time new character, what we're going to do is we're gonna leave radius and we're gonna run down this road we're gonna go straight down the road avoiding all the anomalies that we can and we'll pick up uh, at the front gate here 
and there's going to be a staircase that we're going to kind of follow around to the side and get on top of this rooftop. But let me jump over to the road. Alright guys, so here we are at the road uh, just outside of this tower. Now, we're going to need some stamina for this part, and so I sat down for a minute so I can get this little stamina boost. There's a big misconception about how you get this stamina boost. No, you do not need to be at a safe zone or near a campfire, and you just can't be hungry or starving. So like you can see, I got 31 stacks of radiation right now, and I still got the stamina boost by sitting down here on the road just in the middle of uh, everything. We're going to go ahead and throw... Actually, let me pop a detox BOF and put this gas mask on you don't necessarily need the detox but it's definitely going to help uh so if you can afford it or have antidote try to use it we're going to be running down th this road and we're going to try and get in this building this is the reason that uh, we change our spawn point to radius because some players may find this difficult Especially, we're going to be being chased by a lot of things here. Big thing is not to die to these electrical anomalies. Make sure we're throwing rocks the whole time. Have some uh, verlocks, and there's going to be Forsakens in here. Throw rocks, make sure we know where these, uh, all, all the different anomalies are. Let me go ahead and pop a... Uh, any red. There's no other way around it. Make sure your health is up. Run through. Get to the other side. That's going to make things difficult right there. So we're going to have to pick up this rubber artifact if we're going to be able to run through this anomaly. Otherwise it's going to block us. Right, I'm taking pretty heavy reds. Let me try to get. I don't want to get Calamus rubber Y. That'll actually help eat up some of that radiation. Um, make sure our health is up. Still taking reds. I really don't want to get Calamus here. And we're going to be running along that pipe. So let's try to get... Oh, we made it. Okay. I'm at like 400 reds. Let's see if my reds are climbing. Kind of holding steady. Alright, reds look like they're going down. Slowly. 50, 351. And I got Calamus anyway, and I'm only at three. Okay, whatever. I guess I, ha I was over 300 too long. Whatever. I got Calamus anyway. So stay on the pipes. This is the easier way to do it. The jellies are going to shoot at you. But it's fine. And all we have to do is run along the pipes and we should get a quest update here. Tesla Tower, quest update. Tesla Tower has been found. Now at this point, we are finished and we no longer need to be here. So we can just uh, have uh, a jelly or a verloc assist us in uh, fast traveling back to... Uh, Dude, that didn't take very long at all. Back to radius. All right. So here we are back at radius. And now that we're here, let's just go ahead and do a little housekeeping. Let's get our health back up and get rid of uh, these high reds. All right, so we're going to keep our spawn point here to Village Radius. We're going to run along this road, cut through the clan base. Do not get the spawn point at Foxtrot 5. 
Uh, we're going to go straight down to Echo Sick, back to Arkatska, and we're going to turn in our two pieces of meat and tell him that we found the locations. He's then going to give us another quest to go to Caravan and talk to Donetsk. And to get the caravan, we're going to have to be here at the Village Radius and go up there and talk to that guy. Uh, so by not getting the next spawn point, what we're going to be able to do is go down, talk to him, turn in the meat, uh, and then unalive ourselves again. We'll fast travel back to Radius and we'll pick up from there. So here we are back at our mushroom man. We're gonna turn in, tell him that okay, we have found. Uh, let's see, I need to talk to you. Uh, I brought the meat. Sure, Donetsk. Uh, Russian tasks. Okay. Is he reading a cat magazine? He is, okay. Oh no. The diary entry too. Check that out. That's new. I don't remember that before. All right, but now we have an update to our quest line, secret base. So we're gonna have to go talk to Donetsk. Uh, right. So now what we need to do is all right. Uh, we're gonna have to cease life and go back to Radius. Let's, can I stand at the campfire? Uh, doesn't work. All right, whatever. I'm gonna go find a bear. But uh, back to Radius we go. <clears throat> All right, so here we are, back at Radius. Now, we're gonna have to, let me just check my meds here. So we're good on that, good on that. Uh, might need to pick up a couple more carbon pills. But uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to talk to this guide. And he is our way to caravan to get to Donetsk. So, okay, let's go. Alright, we're here at caravan. Now, for those of you that don't know, caravan is a giant map. I don't remember that building being there. So, Caravan is a sizable map. There's only two respawn points. One where I'm standing, and one clear across on the other side. You're going to find that out, because later in this quest, we're going to have to go there. Um, now, there is an NPC here, but it's not a safe zone. So, Donetsk is... Let's see here. Where is his house? Um, his house should be like right here, right? Or maybe this is his house. The map looks different after that last update. I think they changed something here, but uh, yeah, in this general area, somewhere over here, we're gonna we're gonna find it. Um, is Donetsk? So is that boat always there? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so let's get going. And we're going to go talk to Donetsk. Alright, here we are. I come up here on the porch, oh, talk to this me. old man. Hello, father. Uh, scientists want to ask you something. Okay gonna tell us a story. I mean, you can read through this, but I got a long way to go, so. Uh, yeah, don't go to the island by mistake. All right, let's... Secret base, quest update. So, he has interested in the zone for information explaining. Uh, to his base, tell Salnikov everything you have found out. Okay. So at this point, we're going to have to go back to the airport map and tell Fedor Salnikov everything that we've learned up to this point. Uh, and just so you can see it, it was that gray blob at Gulf 7-4. Uh, easiest way to get here is as soon as you come out, uh, just follow the shoreline and like walk in the water and come along. Uh, you know, you run through the least amount of spiders and boars. It's really easy to go that way. 
But uh, now we're going to need to fast travel back home. Really didn't want to get poisoned, but okay. These Verlocs can send us back. Yep, now that we've fast traveled back here, let's talk to our NPC and go back to Radius. All right, we're back at Radius. Now we're gonna have to, I'm gonna jump over to the airport. So we're gonna take our pass of least resistance back to the runway. And uh, I'll see you when I get there. So now that we're back here at the runway, let's go ahead and travel back to airport map. Now I know this has only looked like it's been a few minutes into this video, but uh, we're at a little over an hour real life time at this point in the quest with probably another, I don't know, hour to hour and a half to go before uh, we finish this quest line, just to, just so you guys are aware. Let's jump back over here to Fedor. So back here at Fedor, we're gonna go and tell him that we've collected it. Uh, about your task, I found information on all the secret bases. Once we tell him about all of that stuff, we're gonna get uh, some reward items. Yeah. Uh, one grenade and some junk but uh, we need to continue on if we want to unlock black forest so the new quest that we get from him is looking for Dursu uh, from here we're gonna have to go to the Serbian village on this map now at this point uh, you're gonna need so we're gonna have to go over here and talk to these guys you're gonna need 10 copper wire and three bottles of moonshine uh, at this point to complete this quest line and I think he's gonna we're gonna talk to them they're gonna send us over to the city um, to talk to somebody talk to that guy over here that's in that barbed wire area uh, we'll give him the three bottles of moonshine and then come back and we'll we'll go from there but so here we are Let's go in here and talk to our NPC. All right, so the first option here. Uh, do you know where he is now? Deal. So I got the quest. Favor for a favor. Ten copper wire. But as I've talked about before, I already got the ten copper wire. So we go back into him. Here's your wire. Give me some information. Uh, so now we have to go... Lives in the flooded city of uh, C-33. So, Charlie-33. So here we are at the river crossing. Um, it, it's about here on the map. So this is Delta-3. See so this little island then over here. Uh, there, there's two different ways to get back and forth. In an earlier video, I kind of like teased the river crossing. I've never actually like demonstrated it before, but you go bush to bush. So this bush to that bush right there. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna get right here. We're gonna run, sprint, jump out into the water. We're gonna sink to the bottom. And then you're gonna hold your W key so you're walking forward and you're just gonna keep spamming that space bar so the guy keeps on hopping along. I didn't take no energetic, I didn't, uh, you know, do any kind of stamina boost or nothing like that. I just let him do his thing across there. Took a little bit of damage, got some freezing stacks. And we're gonna have to come around onto this side of the rock. We wanna get over here to this little beach. Some people have difficulty coming back across. Um, normally, to, to get onto the island, you would just uh, jump off that ledge halfway same thing hold W key spam up that hill if you're on a low level account that doesn't have all the stamina perks you really have to time that sprint jump uh, you know very well if, if you don't launch yourself off the rock good enough you're gonna die short um, if you're a higher level account higher stamina perks and stuff like that you don't really have to worry about it 
Same thing here. We're going to run and we're going to aim for that little piece of beach right there. So it's it's important that we land more to this side and less. We don't want to go over here. We want to go over here. So we're going to do the same thing. Sprint jump out in here. We're going to sink to the bottom. Start hitting our space bar. Uh, you want to try to preserve as much stamina as you can. But see how, like I was talking before, I want to come up, but I didn't want to hit this rock and that's the issue but I'm already out of the water so I'm fine you don't want to bang your head on that rock you want to come out here to the sign you get across there's a lot of river crossings like this in the game in Black Forest uh, and a few other maps but uh, not many people know about them this one here is probably the most important of all of them because it, it's the fastest way back and forth from this side to that side without having to go across Hell's Bridge or use the doors the doors is actually far slower. Um, if you got 3,000 rep, you got to make your way through the anomaly field all the way down here, and then uh, use the fast travel through these gates. Come up here. But if you're just trying to go to the airport, you are running uh, a significant way out of your way when you could you could just use the river crossing. It's it's the if you're worried about time. It is the shortest distance and uh, least amount of time but I mean it is something you got to practice psycho motor doesn't work underwater um, so it's not the easiest thing I mean I do it I, I do it all the time but uh, it's definitely a little skill and technique involved let me jump over here to our next guy all right so here we are we have to give this guy the three ball. What did I just do? Please tell me that wasn't a grenade. That was a grenade. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have equipped those grenades. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is not the quest line. I give him, I got you the booze. Tell me where he is. All right. The alcohol part is completed. Oh, look at that. The dogs won't come in here. Ain't that awesome? Cool. So. Gotta go to caravan, huh? Talk to the local people, see who's seen him. So I'm back here at the river crossing, and I guess I'll give you guys a viewpoint of both sides. So normally you come up to this little peak here, launch yourself off of it, and then once we get to the other side, we're just going to start spamming that space bar. Make sure you're not holding down sprint. If you're holding down sprint, uh, he's not going to climb this hill properly. So we're just holding W key and smashing the space bar. Yeah, once we get to the island, we can met up. Rinse and repeat on the other side. Going bush to bush. There is no campfires around here that give you... Uh, that take away freezing stacks. And you do pick up a lot of freezing. You see how I kind of buffed that up. Uh, I should be able to make it across since this is the more narrow side. But normally you want to jump out as far as you can. Uh, otherwise he's going to drown pretty quick. I make it look easy. It's not It's not that easy. Now that we're back here at the plane, let's get our ride to Tunguska. And once we're at Tunguska, we got to run back to the village Radius. Yeah, okay. So, we're going to run from the runway. We're going to head to Radius. We're going to set our spawn point here, and then we're going to run down south, and I'll mark the pathway uh, once we get to Radius. To an NPC down here, we're going to have to use this guy to go to the opposite end of Caravan, talk to the NPC that is there. He's going to give us a little bit more information. Once we get information from him, we're then going to leave Caravan, come back here to Tunguska, uh, and run this distance back up to Radius. 
it's far shorter and far easier than running across the length of caravan. Running across the length of caravan can take upwards of like around 45 minutes. So this is a much shorter and easier run. Uh, let's, let's get on the road. Let's, let's get to Radius. So here we are back at Radius. Now all we're doing here is just changing our spawn point to this location. Uh, so that we can continue up with the next part. Um, I'm going to display a map on the screen here. In this map, I'm going to highlight the pathway that I'm going to travel. Is this all? Okay. All right. Uh, okay, now I'll show the map now. But So what you're looking at is this is the pathway I generally take. It's going to avoid most of the anomalies, most of the spiders and uh, creatures and stuff like that. And it's going to be the easiest path for you to take uh, back and forth to our NPC down south. So let's uh, let's get going. All right, here we are, Mr. Jaeger, being chased by a large mutant boar. So we're gonna. Here we are. Talk to Jaeger. Go back to caravan. But oh, now we're gonna be at the opposite end of caravan. Where the southern gentleman we're gonna have to talk to is, and then we're gonna end up having to travel all the way back to the west side of caravan. Whoa, this is completely new. Check this out. Wow, all right, man, it's no longer a tiny little crap shack anymore. Look at this. Nice paved streets, a car. Can I go in here? This guy's living. This has got to be the nicest house in the entire game. I have not, besides Vanya's bunker, I mean, this is like the nicest little. Look at this. With electricity? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kids' bedroom. Look at I'll oh, stay out. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Look at this first generation Packard right there. Completely distracted. I'm sorry. I'm just like, look at this. Man. Wow. All right. Dude, this is like the survival bunker here. Man's got his own generator. This is awesome. Kind of much, right? All right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Back on back to our quest. Uh, just kind of like awestruck. Wasn't expecting all of this. We need to talk to this guy. Uh, what is this? Military transport? No. Have other business. Uh, here we go. All right, now talk to Dunyas. Okay. Now this gentleman we have to talk to is here at Golf Seven, and. This is a very, to, to get there, I would have to run out of here, around through this, and all the way down through here, back to this guy. And that's a very long run, a lot of time. It is much, much quicker just to go back to Tunguska. Uh, I have a note from Jaeger. So this is much faster to do this. We're gonna go back to Jaeger. We're gonna run straight north along that quick little easy path back to Radius. We'll take the guide out of Radius and the guide out of Radius here is gonna drop us off back over here at this cabin. And then we got that short little run, talk to him, and then we're gonna have to come back and do all this over again. But it's time-wise, this, uh, this is much faster. So, because this is a respawn point, we're physically going to have to run back up to Radius. So, 
now that we're back here at Radius, we're going to run up and talk to our guide. Head on over to Caravan. The western part. And that was quick. And once again, just we're going to follow the water line and then uh, come up here to the house. You don't have to have magazines. All right. So now that we've talked to him, let's see. Uh, okay. So Kanye said to go to the wetlands and uh, AI three explore. He might be there. All right. Uh, I believe that's journey to the swamps. Come back here. Yes. Just finished me. Back at the guide. Let's go back to Radius. All right. Now that we are here at Radius, we're going to have to do that run all over again. So, again, this is going to be much faster than going the other way. Uh, I'm going to run from Radius straight down to this guide here, to Jaeger. Well, let's get up here and head on to the Black Forest. <laughs> Black Forest. Wise. So we've just come through the guide at Jaeger, and now our next objective is we got to find a body in the swamp. So let's see. That island we're going to need to go to, I think, is right here. Uh, we'll know when we get there. But... The only way to get there, we're going to run along the coastline here, around, and then over to the swamp. Let's get traveling. Oh, I saw it. I got a glance at the tree. I seen it. Where is it? Egg spawns, yellow verlocs. Watch for six things at once here. There's our special tree. So you see it right there. Let's get you a better look. But we got yellow verlocs, baby verlocs. Um, I think there's some jellies around here. Lots of spiders, mutant boars, pretty much everything. And the beginner or less experienced player will think that you have to fight your way in through all of this different stuff. Uh, and that's what a lot of people do. And you don't need to do any of that. What we're going to do is I'm going to pop the psycho motor now just in case. But if you're doing this with a friend, what I would do is I would uh, right about here... I would have your friend take off and start running towards that white tree first and try to get your buddy aggroing all of the verlocs on him and lead the verlocs as far away from that white tree as he can and you got to be like not too far behind him but uh, as the verlocs are being drawn away towards him you can then uh, you know what? I don't think I need my gas. But I'm going to put it on just in case because I don't want that uh, negative effect slowing me down. But let's pop an energetic too. We're just basically get, we're going to sprint straight to that tree. And there's going to be a dead body laying on the other side. And we just have to, as long as I don't get bleeding sex. We're going to sprint straight to this tree. We're going to disregard all the everything chasing us. And we're going to click on that body. Alright, overdosing's going down, so let's just go for it now. Try to avoid save our stamina. Try to like work the verlocs here. Th those two, I, I have no way around it. Those guys are gonna attack me. We gotta just get to the body. Get to the body, click on the body, interact. Dialogue's done. Now just let them finish you. It was that simple. And we're just going to go ahead and respawn. Yeah, now we're back here. 
So, we died there. It was that easy. Back over here. We're gonna go ahead here, get our health up. Horrible discovery. So I think we got the, yeah, we got the free backpack and radio from that. Um, so these are yours to keep. You can keep them or sell them as a uh, part of that individual quest reward. And now that we've done all of this, we gotta go back to, uh, okay, sound a call. So we gotta go back to the airport now. Let's go to talk to, go back to Jaeger in Tunguska. So here we are back down south. Screw it. You know, I got five minutes on this psycho motor, so what's the worst that can happen? Let's just do it. So, anyway, the objective is to get back to the, the airport. So we're going to go back to the airport and talk to Salmikov. And I guess the fastest way to do that is to come this way, hook up here, and grab this spawn point, and then go. And that's what we're doing. Back here at Mr. Sonikoff, we're gonna give him the information that we've learned along the way about your task. I found him. Tell me, okay, what do I need to do? Right. On to the next part of the quest. So now we have to get his note. And uh, thank God this is the last part to this quest line. So to get his note, we have to go to the layer of the impenetrable. Um, and it's it's back in caravan, so we're gonna end up having to go uh, back to Tunguska. So we're gonna go to Radius, we're gonna take our guide to caravan, and then I'll, I'll show you the rest of this. So let's just uh, back to the airplane, back to Radius. Right, Radius, here we are. And we have to go to the lair of the impenetrable. Now that we're out here, all right, caravan. I want to show you the way I normally take to get to the impenetrable. In, in the picture that we're seeing is the route I usually take to get to the impenetrable. And that's to least amount of mutants, least amount, you know, path of least resistance. Here you go. So let's get going now. Uh, the entrance is going to be underneath this little rock here. Anyway, so here's the cave entrance. Let's go, hopefully. Let's get over here and check for the note. There's our trash pile right there. I don't see the impenetrable yet. Note is recovered. There we go. So now that I've recovered the note, we're basically done. We can... Um, we can go back. There we are. So I found found a teleporter that took me to the lake. It's fine, water will do. Here we are back at Kunikova Airport. I'm gonna talk to Fedor, tell him here's the note. Found your task. Found the node impenetrable layer. Found what news? Documents, yes. Look for secret documents. Uh, suggest not sure. Ready. Tracks in the Black Forest, okay. So, tracks in the Black Forest. We gotta go and talk to. Uh, still, right? Forbidden City. Yeah, I gotta go talk to Still at the dam. And once we talk to Still, we should be good to go. Well, there he is, Nikolai Still. So, let's go up to him and we're gonna talk to him about Omega Tasks. Uh. Strange stalker. Oops. I need to get to the Black Forest. Yeah, I go. Tracks in the Black Forest. I need you to. No, I'm not worried about that. Tracks in the Black Forest. Where's that? 
Um, by the motorboat. All right. So this is our guide that takes us to the Black Forest down here. He can also take you to Vesuvius too. It's part of the new update. And if you ever hear somebody somebody talk about Boatman, this is the guy they're talking about. Well, not him, but uh, Black Forest. Yep, let's set sail. So here we are. Black Forest is now open. So I've had this character for about a week since creating him. And so in about a week's time, with just power of game knowledge here, we have got uh, every single map unlocked. And we are now in Black Forest at a level 47. That's pretty cool. Now, once we get to Black Forest, what you should do is you should immediately come up here to Charlie 3-1 and starts doing spare parts for Swallow. Uh, and where you have to go, I did a video about this a while back, but uh, you have to get these spare parts, but you gotta do his quest three or four times. It's a daily quest, you can do it every 24 hours uh, to unlock Yusof Village and get the warehouse open. I would work on doing that first. Once you get to a thousand points uh, with Yusof and you get that warehouseman un unlocked, this right here is, uh, this gentleman is the guy that everybody refers to as Boatman. Uh, he has a hidden quest line, and once you talk to him, that's when you'll be able to do... He'll have you get things like Verloc eyeballs, Verloc gills, or, uh, repe needles. And, uh, if I do his quest line, you could do ten quests for him every 24 hours. And if I did 10 quests for him, I would get on average three to four million points. And it would probably jump me up to a level 60 just by doing his one daily quest. So uh, there's that. But um, what are we, three hours of time uh, accumulated over all of this? Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far through the video, I especially appreciate you. Uh, thanks for sticking around and watching. I really hope this helps everybody and it makes things a little bit more simpler. If you have any suggestions, anything you want to ask or anything you want to know, comment section is always open. Let me know. Uh, you know, there's a big community out there. I would encourage people to get out and a lot of us are in discords. Reach out and talk. You know, if you like playing by yourself, that's fine. If you want to hang out with a group, there's always people. Uh, you know, let's try to get together and, you know, we can always help each other out. I don't do all this alone. I got a lot of support in the community. So, I, you know, I don't know everything myself. I rely on a group of friends that if I'm unsure with something, I reach out to them. And between all of us, we can usually find an answer. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you, you know, want to be a part of that community, you know, Discord's down below as always. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.